Hi guys, Hyperladev here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is my first gameplay upload from Homefront. So I was supposed to get the game on launch here in Europe at the 18th of March. For some reason, Steam didn't think it was a good idea to download it, so it only got stuck on 0% and it said suspend it, and I finally found a fix for it and got downloaded the game and played through the single player. So in this video, I want to give you my little review of the single player in Homefront. So, in short, I'm disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed in the, uh, the uh, single player. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, really. I mean, after what we've seen from the last Call of Duties, where we was promised some epic storylines and awesome campaigns, I don't know why I thought that Homefront would be any better. But you know, they've really, really promoted this thought that, you know, we've got this epic story about an invaded United States. The first time that they, you know, uh, that we have enemy soldiers on uh, United States soil and. We've got this awesome writer who did who wrote uh, Apocalypse Now and Red Dawn, and this is going to be awesome, and it's going to be going to be emerging this epic story about this uprising against the uh, the uh, the oppressors. And I don't know, I was kind of bitten by the propaganda from Chaos, the developers of Homefront, and just just thought that hmm, this might actually be somewhat cool. I guess you know. I thought it might be a good idea, and um, it turned out to be just another generic um, scripted single player, like, um, you know, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, um, Battlefield, I don't know. I mean, it's such... It's, it's, it's a little bit disappointing. I don't know why I had my hopes up, but you know, that's what we get to these days in uh, first-person shooter, uh, shooters. I mean... It's it's really terrible, and um, I'm not really impressed. And um, other than that, it's a lot of the time you're supposed to follow an NPC. Um, an NPC is a non-playable char character, and you're supposed to follow this guy around. And he always runs too slow. So when you're sprinting. You're going faster than him, and if you're just walking, he's going uh, faster than you. So you kind of have to mix it, I guess. But that's not what I want to do. So I just sprint ahead because it's so linear that you know where to go, right? So okay, I just sprint ahead. I guess that's cool. So I get to a door, and at the door, I have to wait for the freaking NPC to ca catch up to me so that he can open it for me. And not only that, but a lot of the time, I would not only have to wait for the NPC to open the, uh, to get catch up to me, to open the door. I also have to wait to wait for to wait for the other NPC who has to also be in place for me to uh, for him to actually open the door in the first place and for us to move through. And sometimes I can't even go through the door even though it's open. Because the two NPCs has to go through it first, of course. And it's just like, what the hell is this? There's an invisible barrier in this freaking door frame keeping me from going through the door. And it's just, it's horrible. It's terrible. I mean, really? You're really that dependent on the script to actually do what it's supposed to do that you can't even let me through the room you can't even let me go through a freaking open door I'm just flabbergasted I guess I mean that's just silly and it's not only Homefront I mean we've seen this in Black Ops in Medal of, um, Modern Warfare 2 we saw it in the first Modern Warfare we saw it in Medal of Honor we saw it in ba Battlefield Bad Company 2 I mean, it's nothing new, but it's just such a horrible fate for the single-player experience, the single-player campaign in first-person shooters. I think it's... it's... it's sad. Game developers can't find a way to 
tell a compelling story in a first-person perspective. It's it's just a sh you go from one set piece to another, only shooting the bad guys because they're in the way of the next point on the map where you have to re you have to reach to launch the next cutscene, and it's terrible. I mean. It's a terrible future for the for the genre uh, when it comes to single player experiences, and not only that, the whole campaign, it's four hours long. I mean, seriously, I'm paying what sixty dollars for a four hour long game? Really? I'm not even. I'm paying over ten bucks an hour to play this game. And it's not even a good story. It's a horrible story. It's a scripted horrible story. It's a movie, for God's sake. It's not a game. If you want to make a movie, go make a freaking movie. Don't make it a game, which almost is the game. I mean, ah, oh, it just frustrates me. It's is it really what it has come down to? I'm just really surprised. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <sighs> I'm getting really frustrated about this. I mean, a single player should at least last for at least six hours, and that's the bare minimum in my opinion. And it should be about ten, uh, eight to ten hours. That's a nice long campaign, and I could pay if it's a good campaign. I could pay sixty dollars for that. I mean, I don't have a problem paying full price for um, Uncharted 2, and that's a great single player. And it has multiplayer, I didn't play it, but I was happy when the game ended, I was... Yeah, I think it was worth the money that I spent on this game. If I only played single player in this game, I wouldn't say so. I would have said it was a scam. Because uh, that's not a lot, um, lot of uh, good entertainment for your money. So, I don't know, guys. Uh, so, in kind of a conclusion, because the game is coming to an end here, and so is the video, of course. So just to kind of sum it all up single player not so great not so hot the multiplayer however I'm having a lot of fun it might just be a fad it might just be a bubble we'll see but I'm having a lot of fun for now so um, I'll bring some more gameplay definitely well that's it for now I hope to see you next time Snackus.